One of the best freshmen in all of college basketball has been Rob Dillingham. Rob Dillingham is absolutely terrific and a lot of people had a lot of confusion about his game from watching him in high school. In high school, he took a lot of dribbles. He sometimes was a little inefficient. Sometimes he was a little extra in the way that he played the game. Just understand though, if you're a young guy who wants to play like him, this game style takes a lot of work and a lot of skill. He also has the intelligence to change his game based on what's needed. So listen to him on what it takes to be like him. A year I would do like dribbling with like plastic bags on the ball. Those the only drills and then every single drill with the plastic on it would help and I do it every day. But yeah, that's why. That's why I, I did what I did this summer through those workouts. I used to work. I woke up this summer like 6 a.m. 6 a.m. workout. Then I have a workout, a full workout at like 9, 10. Then I have another workout at like 12. And then I end the day for a workout at like 5, 6. If you really watch his game and you know the game, you know that this type of game comes with a lot of work, a lot of repetitions and a lot of skill work help him to be able to implement this at whatever level he plays. Where Rob was working out six to seven hours a day in high school, pretty much every day, which was not a lot of rest for him, but he definitely put in the work. And now you can see it in this college game too. It's a lot of substance uh, and he could really shoot the ball extremely well. That's the foundation of his game, the ability to shoot threes, the ability to pull up uh, into his jump shots. This sets the tone for his game. It makes it so much easier. You can see that in his game versus Arkansas. You have to play him so tight, which opens up driving lanes opportunities for him as well. He's got a qu quick burst to him and he can shoot floaters. Um, you know, even though he's not a contact finisher, he's really, really good at shooting really skilled finishes pretty consistently. What you saw in this Arkansas game as well is his competitive nature. Defensively, he's not the greatest, but he does compete. He has really good instincts to pick up the steals. He's a little risky and it puts him out of position at times, but he does get those. Uh, he also is able to create his shot anytime he wants to uh, and get in the paint due to people having to play him so close and his athleticism is totally there. That allows him to be the best shot creator for this uh, Kentucky team and perhaps the best shot creator in all of college basketball when it comes to freshmen at this moment. Really like that part about his game and think it could pay off in the future. This is where I really like his game, especially you can see the development coming in there when it comes to his passing, his decision making, his ability to draw to and make the right play has really improved this year. This is why college can be so great for certain players who like him has always been the best player and now he's understanding how to play with other talent. And now you can see him really growing into a real combo guard instead of a two guard. He's got the ability to run a team more now, make really good decisions. And I really enjoy seeing that level from him because he's totally capable of being a point guard at a high level. Now he does have things he needs to work on just like everybody else. Uh, sometimes his shot selection can be a little horrid. Uh, he could take some really tough shots. He over fouls. Uh, he's not the best defender. He's not really good at being disciplined and staying in front. He has a tendency uh, to give up a lot of possessions uh, defensively. Uh, even though he is a really good talent and he's still, it, you know, at his worst, he can make plays for other people when he's not scoring well. It's kind of like he's really not impacting the game. Um, that's something that I really know that he can improve on and, and that would really help him in his game. It takes him out of games where Coach Cal can't even play him at times when he gets a little turnover prone or he gets too stuck in his head and he keeps forcing it. Uh, but hopefully he can improve on the defensive side because that would help out him so much. Comparisons can be really tough, especially for young guys who are freshmen. Uh, you don't know how the intangibles will develop uh, and things of that nature, but I will say he draws a lot of comparisons to, to Bo Highlands. Um, I really enjoyed the way Bones Highlands plays. He's able to get downhill. He's a little flashy. He's shifty. Uh, he makes plays for others. Uh, and he's still a really good scorer. A lot of people don't know how great he is because he really doesn't get the opportunity to shine for the Clippers. But I see a lot of comparisons when I think of guys that can really score the ball, 
uh, have a little bit of flash to their game, but are super duper skilled and really good shooters. That's something that people don't know about Bones is that he's an absolute knockdown shooter, and so is Rob. They built their game off of that, and then they're able to get to the basket. Uh, they're able to make plays for others. They have a similar build. They're not really big, strong guys. They're they're thinner, uh, but they both have really good counters, very skilled finishers. I think Bones Highlands is a little bit better defensively at this point in his career uh but they're two guys where the creative level of them makes them so special and the skill level of their game is really on a high end his comparison looks a little bit different when you talk about his absolute ceiling if he works the hardest improves his body uh, it looks a lot more like Darius Garland, a guy who can play the point uh, and also can play off ball, scores really well, uh, extremely shifty, can create his own shot, can shoot off the dribble and off the catch. A lot of similarities here. But like I said, Darius Garland is his uh, closer to his ceiling. Um, Darius Garland is a lot stronger than what people think he is, a very physical, uh, athletic player who's at this point has that athleticism difference in his game and also he passes the ball a little bit better than rob does at this point uh but i do think that he does have that potential if he continues to work hard and he finds the right fit for his ability level uh when it comes to nba teams he needs to play he needs to be allowed to make mistakes and that will help him be the player that i feel like he can definitely be Guys, make sure you please subscribe. Make sure you like, comment. What do you think about Rob Dillingham? Also, check us out on TikTok and Instagram.